Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we are organizing uh, Eid dinner. It's a, a multicultural uh, Eid dinner. We have invited uh, guests uh, who are like non-Muslim, Muslim guests. A uh, few VIPs are also invited, like mayor and deputy mayor of Human Council, Moreland Council. Inshallah, it will go well. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. وحاجه قومك قال أتحاجوني في الله وقد هدان ولا أخاف ما تشركون به إلا أن يشاء Peace and blessings be upon you and a very good evening to everyone present here. I am Abdul Hadi. Uh, on behalf of my team Mina, Muslims Information Network of Australasia, I welcome you one and all to this wonderful gathering, to this wonderful evening. You indeed honour us with your presence. One has not thanked the Almighty God until he's thanked the people, his creation. Anyway, I hope tonight we can all share some stories in our own cultures and traditions with one another and enjoy the, mag the magnificent food provided tonight and most importantly, enjoy each other's company. May this evening provide us the opportunity to better reflect, learn and understand from one another. Thank you. Multiculturalism has been an important element in the making of modern Australia and I know that Victoria Police will continue to work within, with the community, with the multicultural communities because it's really the only way forward. But they can't take away from the multicultural heart that we know is part of Australia. This is the multicultural heart of Australia. It's us being with each other, celebrating each other, caring for each other and sharing with each other. So that the more they move backwards, I think the more that we need to stand together and really celebrate from the ground up. I care about you and I wish you could realize there's no difference. Becoming a good human being. How we need to think about are we the best spouse you know, that we can be? Are we the best mother or father that we can be? Are we the best son or daughter you know, to our parents? And you know, I've got uh, my father has passed away, but I've got an elderly mother that I do not consider myself to be a successful person unless she is someone that I'm looking after, I'm taking care of, and I'm doing the very, very best that I can with her. And for me, you know, despite the trappings of life, if I can bring a smile to her face every day, that's success for me. Just one big family 